Few months ago, one of Exergic students emailed me. He sent me his test series analysis and he was asking whether he is analyzing it correctly or not. My first reaction was of happiness. I felt very happy to see his sincerity towards test series analysis. He was writing down what mistakes he was making, what was he learning from those mistakes, but was his analysis complete? What was he missing in this analysis? In this video, I will teach you how to analyze your test series attempt in the most effective way. But wait, wait, wait. Are you someone who is thinking, Sir, why should we analyze test attempt? Sir, what is the benefit? So look, in this video, I am not going to tell you why you should do it. Rather, in this video, I will be telling you how you should do it. But to summarize the reason why you should analyze your test attempt, I will say that if you are just writing test series and you are not analyzing your test attempt, you are not getting the maximum benefit out of test series and you are not at your maximum performance. So make sure to watch till the end to know the entire process of analyzing your test attempt. Now the analysis that you have to perform can be divided into two broad categories. Type 1 or category 1 is macro analysis and the second type is micro analysis. As the name suggests, in the macro analysis, you look at the overall picture of your performance. You find out the weaker areas, weaker subjects, weaker topics in your overall preparation. And you make a three hour strategy for your gate exam. I have already talked about three hour strategy. So I am not repeating it in this video. Rather, at the end of this video, I will link that video. So once you finish this video, if you have not watched it, you can watch the 3 hour strategy video. So in the macro analysis, as I was telling, a broad picture you get and you make an overall plan of performance and you judge whether the plan is working good or not. That's what you do in the macro analysis. But in the micro analysis, you go into the details of your performance question wise that I will discuss in the second part of the video. So firstly, we are going to discuss about macro analysis. Now, macro analysis is primarily done using the data that is generated after you attempt a test series, right? The software gives you a performance analysis. That analysis is going to help you in doing the macro analysis. If the test series that you are attempting has a good analytics report that you get after attempting the test, this process will get a lot easier and faster and effective for you. So in this video, I am going to take the example of Exergic Test Series Report because I believe it is one of the best analytics that is being offered once you attempt the test. There are so many factors that you may see in the analysis screen of your computer. But there are certain things which you must not miss out of those analysis, those reports which are given to you by the software. First thing is time analysis that where did you spend most of your time in what questions did you spend most of your time. So I'm sure you can if you look at any of the graphical variation some question will be shooting up like Burj Khalifa right. So those questions you have to figure out you have to point out that okay these are the questions where I spent 7 minutes 8 minutes 9 minutes. Why did I do that? Make a list of those questions. You will go into the details of that question in the second, in the second analysis, which is the micro analysis. But right now, prepare a list of those questions where you spent a lot of time and a graphical variation like I showed you will definitely help you do that very quickly. Using the features of the test series, you can also filter the section and choose the mechanical engineering or your engineering domain. And in that domain, you can do this analysis that where are you spending most of your time? In fact, the questions which should get special attention are those where you not only spent a lot of time, but did them wrong or you spent a lot of time and you skipped those questions. That is a pure wastage of time and a loss of marks. You should definitely note down those questions for micro analysis. We'll go to the reasons why we did that, what we would have done better, what can we learn from those questions. So all these things will come to in the second part of the analysis. But right now you have to note down the question number of those questions where you spent most time, where you spent most time but still could not solve, you skipped it or worst, 
you spend most time and you did it incorrectly so all these three types you have to note down that question number three question 48 question 54 when you compare the time taken by you and the average time and the topper time for any such specific questions you realize that maybe you are taking some questions to your ego ki are ye to mera favorite hai fluid mechanics iska question kaise solve nahi hoga yaar mujhse i have worked so much i have prepared it so much मैं तो इसको करके ही रहूंगा मैं तो 10 मिनट लगा दूंगा बट मैं करके रहूंगा इस क्वेश्चन को आई वोंट मिस दिस क्वेश्चन दैट इज द वर्स्ट माइंडसेट दैट यू कैन हैव एंड दिस हैपेंस विद मेनी स्टूडेंट्स डिस्पाइट माय रिपीटेड वार्निंग डोंट डू दैट यू विल फाइंड सच क्वेश्चंस राइट वेयर यू हैव स्पेंड अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम एज कंपेयर टू एवरेज टाइम और टॉपर्स टाइम ये वो ही क्वेश्चंस हैं दीस आर दोस क्वेश्चंस ओनली व्हिच यू नीड टू बी केयरफुल अबाउट in fact this time analysis will get 10 times better if you apply the filter of subject or topic then you will be precisely knowing that in what topics in what subjects you have such tendency to not let go to keep spending 10 minutes on a single question despite knowing that you have many other questions left where you can focus you can score and get marks Similarly, analyzing your accuracy is also very very important. Firstly, you should know that what is your total accuracy in the test as a percentage. So you will see that percentage 80%, 70%. So it tells you that out of 10 questions, if you are doing 7 correctly, then 70% is your accuracy. So you should try to get an accuracy which should be at least 80%. That's the target that I'm giving you. Higher the better. 85 good, 90 very good. But try to aim at least 80-85% of accuracy in the questions that you are solving. So firstly, you should look at the total accuracy that you have in the test. Then you may check your section wise accuracy. That how accurate are you while solving questions maybe of general aptitude. Because there are certain questions in general aptitude of English which feels, you know, ki yaar, ye toh aata hai mere ko. English ke questions aise hote hai jahan गलत करो फिर भी कॉन्फिडेंस बहुत हाई रहता है क्योंकि हमें ऐसा लगता है कि हमें बहुत अच्छी इंग्लिश आती है जस्ट बिकॉज़ वी कैन स्पीक सम इंग्लिश बट द रूल्स ऑफ ग्रामर आर नॉट दैट सिंपल करेक्ट सो मे बी आपकी ऐसी आदत है कि आप ओवर कॉन्फिडेंस में यू कीप टिकिंग द क्वेश्चंस बट अल्टीमेटली इट अफेक्ट्स योर एक्यूरेसी सो सेक्शन वाइज एक्यूरेसी आल्सो हेल्प्स यू इन डिटरमाइनिंग कि आप किस सेक्शन में ज्यादा गलतियां कर रहे हैं Again, you can drill down. Again, you can apply the filter of topic wise. And you can see ki aap specifically kis topic mein zyada ya kam accurate hai. Aapki accuracy hit jo ho rahi hai. In what topics, in what subjects is it getting hit? That also is a very important data, very important metric that you should have. So when you combine this time analysis and accuracy analysis, you get a broad idea that where are you spending more time? Where are you spending time which is losing you marks because of inaccurate attempt or maybe skipped question? Where your accuracy is getting lower and then you can analyze that what is the reason behind that? Why do I have consecutive low accuracy in general aptitude section? Why am I spending a lot of time in thermodynamics questions? And then you can think ki yaar, maybe I take such questions on my ego. Maybe I have not revised this topic enough. That's why I have to keep thinking of the formula. I am not able to recall the formula. All these dark areas of your preparation, weak areas of your preparation would be highlighted by the macro analysis. I am suggesting you time analysis, accuracy analysis, but not the marks analysis, not the score analysis. Why? There are two reasons for that. Every test is not of same difficulty level, right? Any single full length test may have a different difficulty, higher or lower, as compared to the previous full length test. So even if you are getting better prepared, you are improving your performance, but there is no guarantee that your marks will keep on increasing, you know, linearly or exponentially. Because level can fluctuate, the test series level, the full length test level. That is why comparing your score with your previous score is not a very good idea. But yes. Comparing your time with the time you spent in last test or accuracy percentage with the accuracy percentage of last test is very good. 
no matter if test is easy or test is difficult you have to do it in 3 hours only you have to have an accuracy of 80 85% minimum and the second reason why i won't recommend score comparison or score analysis is because score is an outcome is a result of time and accuracy right that's the output of it if you are focus on time analysis and accuracy analysis is good enough automatically your score would be better so rather than focusing on the result let us focus on the process which is the process of managing your time and your accuracy in fact when it comes to comparison of with average marks or total marks in that also i recommend doing that for accuracy i recommend doing that for time but i don't recommend comparing your marks or score with the average mark or the toppers mark that is only going to put pressure on you there is no benefit no actual benefit that you would get by doing that so in the macro analysis there are two primary analysis that you have to do time and accuracy analysis now when it comes to micro analysis also the test series software will give you some data with every question but i highly recommend that you use a pen and paper or excel sheet or google sheet whatever you prefer and do this micro analysis there this analysis is about what mistakes you made and how you can improve those what was going on in your mind when you were solving those questions this is something that you know right software doesn't know what error you made software will just tell you you did the answer you gave the correct answer or incorrect answer how much time you take took what was your accuracy in that topic or right subject but why you made the mistake what mistake you made all these things you only know not the software so that is why this analysis you have to do separate from the software and you have to list down all the mistakes that you have made and what was the reason for those mistakes how you can improve those mistakes which can look something like this now there can be n number of mistakes that you can make right but still i will help you by categorizing those mistakes you can make conceptual mistake or calculation mistake or silly mistake or a mistake in your technique of question solving so if i just talk about let's say conceptual mistake it means that any such mistake or error that you are make, making due to lack of correct concepts if you are not having a good test series you may have irrelevant questions filled in that test series which is not good right that's the importance of having a test series where you have good questions but relevant questions because if you don't have relevant questions you would be analyzing your performance against in irrelevant question that definitely would be a wrong analysis right that's why having relevant and conceptual questions together are important which i always try and achieve in exergic test series so conceptual mistake are those where you don't know the concept where you don't have the right concept what do you have to do you have to revisit the course you have to go through that concept again maybe you have to revise that again maybe you need to solve some more questions from that concept from that topic so what you can do you can solve question bank questions you can solve topic wise or subject wise questions got it another type is calculation error obviously you know what to do regarding calculation error there are i think many tips that i have given you in different solved examples at least 10 15 tips i have given how to you know avoid calculation mistakes how to improve your calculation it's just impossible to combine all of them in a single video but i am sure if you have been solving questions the way i ask you to solve the tips that i give you you know how to improve upon those silly mistakes we we all know about those mistakes right so there's no point in repeating what needs to be done which i have already told but you should know that how much marks are you losing in what type of mistake that's the point that i'm trying to convey here that the mistake that you made was it a conceptual mistake a calculation mistake a silly mistake or a mistake in your technique what comes under the technique error or the technical error it could be the lack of revision it could be not reading the question properly right in fact if you look at the analysis of the student he was not able to get questions correct many questions correct mainly because he has not revised them or he used a wrong formula so the technique that he has 
for attempting test or for preparation is wrong. He is not revising them. So these things will uncover when you start micro analysis in detail. You will know that if you are spending too much time on a question, there definitely is a wrong technique that you are using or you are not reading the question properly then it's a wrong technique, wrong process to attack, to attempt a question. So all these things you have to, as I told you, you have to go in, into the details of the mistake. Not only what mistake you made, but what type of mistake you made. What was the reason for that mistake? You may have to recall your experience of the test that Acha, when I was writing that test, that question, what was going on in my mind? Why I spent eight minutes? Why I just missed to read the question properly? Was I panicking? Was I trying to increase my speed suddenly? All these things, only you know what was going on in your mind. Why you did that mistake? This is you know, you in your mind. Correct? So, in these details, you have to go in microanalysis. And then you have to note down what you have to improve. That improvement can be related to a concept. Some conceptual learning that you may get from solving that question. Or mistake in your technique like lack of revision not reading question properly or any specific silly mistake that you keep on making maybe in putting the values in entering the values all these things you have to write down in the learnings of that specific question those questions those areas those subjects which you figured out from the macro analysis that makes the micro analysis efficient and faster but still I would tell you that if you think you have time you can even once check the questions which you did correctly especially such questions where you remember that I was in this question I was not able to think what to do but I solved it correctly in such question you have to revisit and you have to reinforce kiyar, kya, what I did correctly what technique I used to question solve which I had to Maybe in question you have said that I will just increase my focus and I will just focus on this question. And you figured out the solution. Maybe this could have happened here. Internally, what is happening in your mind? Just like I said, that you know best. So, these things too, if you think you have enough time in analysis, you can even check such questions which you solved correctly. But you can learn something from there. You can learn something. You did something very well in that question, which you want to continue doing. Please note, it's very normal to do mistakes. But important thing is what? Important thing is that you should not repeat those mistakes. You should learn from those mistakes. Everyone makes mistakes in their lives. But if you are learning from it, you are improving. Your decisions will get better, your approach will get better, your life will get better. But if you are simply making mistakes and you are cribbing, just roh reho galti karke, ya re galti ho rhi, ya re number kat rhe hai, kuch seek nahi reho, kuch improve nahi kar reho, to koi fayda nahi hai. Ye approach, gate and exam is a small part. But this approach will never work in your real life also. That's why all these exams, they teach you such important life skills of self-introspection, of self-analysis, improvement and then eventually the success. I am sure this video will help you in getting the maximum output from the test series and in reaching the peak performance. The video that I talked about where I have discussed how you can plan those three hours, that video you can watch by clicking here. I wish you all the best.